What's up, guys? Today we are playing Bleed for the Nintendo Switch. Now, I know that Ryan's played this game before. Uh, I've only seen this game. I haven't played it, so I don't even know if this game is one or two players or what's the deal. Uh, I guess we'll find out. So, I, I played this game. This is actually one of my favorite shooters, and I played this game on PC. So, I'm excited to play it on the Switch. Maybe there'll be things that are different. Would this be part of the cute em up genre? Because the game looks kind of cute. It's got like the cats and like the purple hair and stuff. But at the same time, it's like hardcore like shooting. Like, yeah, you know? I guess it would. That's interesting. So you can slow down time, which reminds me a little bit of, you know, like a Red Dead, um, like the slowing down time mechanics. I always, I always like that. You, you can sort of, you know, pause time. Yeah, and there are parts in this game where you literally just can't complete them without slowing down time. Now, is that the yellow meter up top? You're doing yeah. it right there, okay. Yeah, I was doing it for a second. Now, do you get upgrades in this to where your time can be, like, more? No. It doesn't do, okay. They're, like, you have what you have and that's it for the whole yeah. game? Yeah. Okay. And you don't get any other weapons or anything? You do. You do. Um, okay. Oh, there, there you they're go. They're kind of hard to get. Okay. Like, you'll probably get, like, almost to the end without getting much one of them okay. it's more based on like the time trials and stuff okay like in the original version of this game i got everything i s ranked everything people people are going to say that watch me do this yeah right I, I can't believe you s ranked everything cuz you're you were doing also so playing bad. it like several years ago yeah it's like when i you know if, if i were to play mike tyson's punch out right now I would suck at it because I haven't played it in a year and a half or something since I, whenever the last time I was like playing it like all the time. That's what happens with, with games. It's called practice makes perfect. And if you don't practice, you fall out of practice, you know? So I remember a few years back when you were playing this all the time. I used to come over to your house. I think, I feel like it was back when you were playing like Arkham City and shit. Yeah, like exactly. And um, you were playing this quite a bit. And uh, I, I mean, I believe you, but I also believe that I also believe that you probably aren't as good as you used to be because you haven't played it in a few years. It's so funny, like in a lot of these skill-based games, in a lot of these skill-based games, um, how important it is to be in practice. It's because I remember um, why I had such a reaction that I did when I beat Mike Tyson when James, when we did James and Mike Mondays because I didn't practice for that video. Yeah, I was not. I hadn't played Mike Tyson's Punch Out in like a year or something, and all of a sudden I sat down and I immediately beat Tyson, and I was like shocked. That's why I was like freaking out yeah. in the video. Um, because there was a point when I remember, oh, I'm gonna try to beat Mike Tyson. I remember, and this wasn't on video or anything, I was just like practicing. Um, I sat and I tried to beat Mike Tyson over and over and over and over for like an hour and a half, just like putting in the code, going back to him, and I could not beat him for the love of God. I just couldn't do it. But, right. but then, you know, it just, you know, it just shows you that you know, practice, you know, practice makes perfect, but sometimes you get lucky. I mean, I don't know, so what's the deal with this boss? He breaks into pieces. He breaks into smaller and smaller pieces. So we beat it. But I get a D, you know? Oh, a D rank, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which is funny. So he's the first, that's the first boss. Yeah, you're basically- So what, she's like a schoolgirl, and then she's like going through classes? Like, what is the- No, she's basically trying to, see how it says Deathless? Oh, Deathless, is this like that, there's that anime, um, uh, which is, it's, what is it, it's like called Deathless, or Death, Death, Death Note. Wish. Death Note, thank you, Death Note. Yeah. It's like Death Note, the game. She's basically trying to kill all the heroes to be the biggest hero. Like, she's like, if I kill all the heroes, I'll be the number, the, one, the number one hero, basically. Okay. I gotta remember to slow down time. Like I just died. You, oh, you can't touch the. You can't touch the ground. Little lava. <laughs> yeah, there's parts later in this game where you like literally can't touch the walls. Oh, you should see this on. Uh, like they're so fast on like the nightmare difficulty. I'm really curious what the gra if the there's a graphical improvement between this and Bleed Two. Because I, I will say the graphics in this, they're cool, but they're- It's pretty much the same thing. They, they look very, um, it's very simplistic. Like the, st the style here. But it, it's cool looking. By the way, I killed those guys without getting hit and I only got a B. It's expecting what do you, have to do you faster. 
No, you had to ha- be, be have carried through the level. Some, you had to you had to have the like, whole level. You had to carry through the level. Yeah, because I only fought like I died right before I fought him. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah I see. Yeah, the worms was was the worms. They were a hero. Yeah, now it's the robot. Is this not a very long game? It's not. We're okay. gonna beat it. Okay. Have you beat Cuphead on Expert yet? No, I I've only played Cuphead on normal. I, I guess. Um, I think I could if I if I put the time into it. Yeah, I actually got to meet the developer of Bleed at PAX uh, last year. It was around when we played Bleed too, and he was a really cool guy. He's from Europe. The wall jumping is interesting. You can just like kind of bounce against the wall as much as you want. What do yeah, you, you have like rocket jets on your feet or something? What's going on here? So like she flies, like how is she flying? So she has a triple jump. She has a triple jump. She has a triple jump, but when you hit the wall, it gets refreshed. So she has Spock's boots from Star Trek Five. Yeah, right. Then we can go up here. No, I guess a better example would have been uh, Mega Man X, how he gets like the boots. Yeah, she has, she has that, but then she also has a triple jump, which will be showcased shortly. <laughs> A lot of elevators in this. Because there's a spider that's gonna. Oh, ooh. Wah, wah, wah. There's gonna be a spider that appears here and spider boss here. That you need. The, you you definitely need the triple jump on. The shelob. Well, the what? It, like Lord of the Rings, like the oh, spider. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm a big Lord of the Rings fan. Like, I I mean I don't hate Lord of the Rings. I'm just saying, like, I, I out of I, all. I, the, I'm big into Lord of the Rings. There, there's things I like about Lord of the Rings. I'm just like I think the movies. Whatever. I say this. I'm big into Lord of the Rings, but that doesn't mean I'm an expert on it. Like I know, like she loves the spider, but I'm probably pronou- pronouncing she loves right. wrong. <laughs> you know. I like the Balrog. The Balrog is also the big, yeah, the big thing. Badass. I, actually, the Balrog. It's funny they mentioned that. That's what got my girlfriend into Lord of the Rings because I, I tried to show her like the movie. You're like, oh, check it out. And I, was, I was like, oh, check out like Lord of the Rings, and she's like, I don't really want to watch this. And I'm, I'm like, oh, well, you. Will you give it a chance? And she's like, all right. So we watched the movie and she like wasn't really digging it. But then when the Balrog like came out, she's like, oh, this is awesome. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> and, and then she liked it after that. It, it took the Balrog, like a, it took a like flaming fire beast yeah. <laughs> for her to be like, okay, I kind of like yeah. this now. Okay, this game's worth my time. This <laughs> yeah. movie's worth my time. Right. Look, you have to dash through it here. And it's like a race to the end now. I've never played this game, and I, I still haven't. I can tell just by looking at this game that it's a good game. Like, I don't even need to play it. Right. Like, I can, you can just tell. But yeah, I like these these type of games, you know, so. Probably a little luck. Uh, oh, I was doing so well, too. I had an A, it was, fell apart. I got him. That's nice. a nice rank. <laughs> Isn't that great? <laughs> See, I'm getting more into it now. All right. Yeah. Are you finding it now? Like you want to like up the difficulty, maybe? <laughs> Have you beaten this on the hardest? I beat it on the hardest back when you yeah, played it. But it's like, it's a grind. It's yeah. It's very hard. I mean, I've gotten to the point. I I beat the game without getting hit. Really? Yeah. That was like one of the challenges that you had to do. Oh, uh, okay. So. It's... That's crazy. It's tough. Oh, did, does your rank gradually go up as, as you're yeah. playing? I didn't even notice. Like, so, yeah, the top right, you can see how well you're doing as you go. Oh, I like, crap. I like that. I like that you... You see how I went backwards there? Yeah, see, see, now he's got the C rank. Do a lot of games do that? I haven't seen that a bunch before. Yeah. yeah, I don't really play games like this anymore where I, like, try to be a completionist. Oh. Well, why not? I should. Yeah, I wish I had the time. Yeah. Are those? Yeah, I was. It's because it's so fast. Yeah. Actually, I'm just gonna use this thing and kill him. I got lucky that I was on the right difficulty. Oh, he, he hits the side of the yeah. building? That's yeah, cool. Yeah, he does. It's funny. So it's funny, we are playing this on Switch, but you played this, what, on Steam? On, yeah, with like an Xbox controller. And honestly, like this controller is so much better than the Xbox is controller. It? But I don't, I don't know if it's better for this game. Oh, like normally you think that this controller is better, but not here? Yeah, because, well, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying that 
normally this controller is strictly better than the Xbox controller for games that need like the D-pad and stuff. But this game, it'll probably, probably also mention. Uh, matters which Xbox controller you're talking about. I'm talking about the 360. 360 controller. Not the the Xbox One controller is you know the, these controllers similar. Okay. So this is this part. <laughs> yeah, I like that description. So this is this part, Mike. It can be said for any game. No, but this is <laughs> any part of any game. Look what, look hey, Mike, what, this is this part. But look what I'm. <laughs> but look what's going on. I know it's awesome. Actually, it's like Body Wars. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Dragonheart. That's a movie. With Sean Connery. A bad movie. Oh, Braveheart. Oh, Dragonheart with the dragon? You didn't like the dragon movie? I did not. I saw that in the theater. I didn't I didn't like it. Okay. I know I know a lot of people like that movie, so if you like it, I'm sorry. I mean yeah, I'm sorry. You're like if you like it, I'm sorry, it sucks. <laughs> it's not it wasn't my cup of tea. I went from S rank to dead. It's funny. Yeah. Nobody even like you like Dragonheart. Nobody, even knows nobody likes Dragonheart, Ryan. Nobody even knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> like Dragonheart, people, like, people like, weren't even born when I. A lot of people who weren't born when the movie came out thought it was good. Yeah. Like there's another S rank. You know who was the most popular actor? I think the year Dragonheart probably came out. No. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Chris O'Donnell. Chris O'Donnell. Yeah. I am not going to kill him first time around. Goku? I wish I had the sword. Oh, hey, God. you didn't kill him the first time around. Yeah. Oh, the, oh, you know what's funny? The background is all the enemies dead. Yeah. I never noticed that. Too busy fighting. Yeah. Yeah, he's racking you. And who is this guy? He just comes out of nowhere. Like, he's like your rival. Yeah. Who you didn't know existed until right now, ten minutes ago. Is it kind of like with this boss fight? You wait for him to pick the like the less hard things to fight you with. Because I I remember playing um. Contra 3 Alien Wars, and yeah. when you get to the final boss, yeah, right. there's certain things he'll do that he'll, he'll just, like, annihilate you, but then if he chooses, like, other weapons, it's, like, way easier, depending on what it what the game randomizes. Timer. You almost have this. Come on! Oh, Damn. there it is! Yeah. Uh, oh, good work. So, I love this game. Bleed is so much fun. It's a great shooter. The difficulty scales with it as it goes. Like, we, we just beat it on normal. That doesn't mean that we're gonna beat it on very hard today. There's more longevity to this. Like, the first time you play, you know, you might want to start it on, like, the easier setting, but you can play it again and again and again and get better and better and better at it. And what were the challenges you were telling me about? Like, So there's there a bunch of achievements. Okay. Just like, you know, there's achievements in games. Sure. And, and, like, this was a game that I was so into that I had to do the achievements. Um, but you played it on PC. Yeah. And now that you're playing on Steam, what, is there one that you prefer? Well, I'm playing other? it on Switch. I, I'm but, sorry, you're playing on... You played it on Steam. Now you're playing it on Switch. Is there one that you preferred for any reason? Did you did you prefer it on? I I think I prefer it on Switch because um, the controller's great for it. Honestly, um, it's portable, which it was never portable before. It never came out on DS or anything. Um, yeah, I think this is probably the best version of the game as long as it has the achievements. A shop. Here in the shop, like oh, what can you get? Oh, more health. You definitely want the sword. Do you only get this after you beat the game? Like no, you can buy it normally. Okay. Shotgun, flamethrower, revolver. Those were the mines. We're gonna do the homing missiles, which I think we got for beating the game. What's the, yeah? What's that one? Pistol. The akimbo pistols are a little different. So. So this is the homing missile. Okay, that's it, cool. It locks on. You know it. I would probably use that. It doesn't do a lot of damage. Uh, and the Kimbo pistols are... Two different directions. Two different directions okay. instead of one. 
And you got the we got those for like beating the game and stuff. It's like short range attack though. I don't know if that would be that great. It's really. I remember using it for things. Yeah. It reflects projectiles. Okay. It's probably strong though. It's very strong, and it reflects projectiles. See? That's kind of cool, actually. Oh, and then you can use that. Will that kill enemies? Yeah, yeah. Kill, that's actually kind of neat, yeah. Actually pretty cool. I thought it was going to be shitty, but actually it looks good. I don't know, it doesn't seem to be doing super great. Because you're only hitting him, like, every so often. Because you're kind of far away. Where the rest of the time you were shooting him continually. Yeah. Which is what you were saying earlier. Exactly. Yeah, so I don't know about that weapon. Use the fucking landmines on him. Like, toss the landmines. I don't think they do much. Like that. Oh my god. Say, oh no, they don't do much? Look at this. They're fucking wrecking him. All you, if you can actually land those things on him, they're like destroying him. Look, now he's gonna be fucking dead, practically. Look, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, look at that. They're awesome. If you can get, if you can, yeah, he's gonna die right now. Yeah, done. He's done. <laughs> so landmines, I don't know. In certain situations, for yeah. bosses maybe. <laughs> Ryan, stay tuned for, on Cinemassacre oh. Plays for Ryan's all mind run. Oh, oh my uh, god. Bleed on the hardest on the whole of course. Of you can't even imagine. <laughs> I'll even mine want, only. Mine only. <laughs> that's the that's the way to play. Yeah. Your last stream you ever do because it'll take the rest of your life. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's bleed. Yeah. So, but but I highly recommend it. Yeah.